Hi students, today's topic is prediction of geometry of covalent molecules. If the covalent molecule is given either it may be a neutral molecule or a cation or anion, you can predict the geometry of that molecule using this formula. This formula is very useful. H equal to half V plus M minus C plus A. Here V is valence electrons of central atom. H is number of hybrid orbitals involved in hybridization. Then C is number of, uh, sorry M equal to Number of monovalent atoms linked with the central atom. C is charge and cation. A is charge and anion. Okay. The best part in this formula is you have to know first thing about the valence electrons in central atom. It, it is very easy, no? And the number of monovalent atoms linked with the central atom. And the kitchen covalent molecule, anion and cation and neutral molecule, we can predict hybridization. Predict. So, number of hybrid orbitals is the hybridization A type a type ninchi man predict geometry ent ani earlier videos lo explain cheskunna so if the value of h equal to 2 hybridization will be sp and the predicted geometry will be linear if the value of h equal to 3 three hybrid orbitals will be formed that is sp2 the predicted geometry will be triangular planar or planar triangle if value of h equal to 4 then it will be sp3 and the geometry will be tetrahedral if it is 5 D sp3 and the geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal. If it is 6, D2 sp3 octahedral. Let's go with first example which is carbon dioxide. In carbon dioxide you have to predict the geometry by this formula. So H equal to. So first thing you have to write down is the valency. What is the val uh, electron valency? 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Right. You have 4 valence electrons. Half into V is valence electrons. So that is 4 plus number of monovalent atoms attached to central atom. What is the central atom here? Carbon, right? So, monovalent atoms are not there. Why? Because oxygen is divalent always. So, that will be 0. Minus, C is the charge on cation. It is a neutral molecule. So, there is no charge of cation as well as no charge of anion. That will be 4 by 2. You will get 2. If the H value is 2, that will that is sp hybridization if the hybridization is sp the geometry is linear obviously with bond angle 180 degrees okay let's go into the another example that is bcl3 i'll give you each example for each hybridization bcl3 what is the electron configuration of boron it is atomic number is 5 right 1s2 2s2 2p1 right you have three valence electrons when you calculate H for this, half boron valence electrons 3 plus the monovalent atoms attached to central atom. What is the central atom here? Boron. What are the monovalent atoms here? Cl. Cl minus. Right? Cl monovalent atoms. You have 3 plus minus charge on cation 0 plus charge on anion 0 it is a neutral molecule you will have 6 by 2 and 3 which is sp2 if the hybridization of sp2 value of h equal to 3 then hybridization will be sp2 right if the hybridization is sp2 the geometry will be triangular planar is it triangular planar so by calculating the h value we can predict the geometry of that covalent molecule very easily then um, next example is silicon tetrachloride si cl4 h equal to then half into what is the central atom here silicon silicon atomic number 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p2 i think right you have four valence electrons plus what is M? M is monovalent atoms attached to central atom. How many monovalent atoms we have in SICL4? Four atoms, right? Four atoms plus, sorry, minus. It is a neutral atom. So, there is no charge on cation and there is no charge on anion. You will get 8 by 2 equal to 4. That will be sp3 hybridization. If the hybridization is sp3 and the H value is 4, hybridization will be sp3, right? So, hybridization sp3 will lead you the shape the or the geometry is tetrahedron tetrahedron right another example so next example is clf3 here what is the central atom cl why 
because it is the least electronegative atom right so cl electron uh, it is the central atom so you have to find out the valence electrons in cl if you are it is known it's okay or otherwise you have to write the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 right it is 17 so you have seven valence electrons when calculating h for this half into what is the valence electrons number seven plus monovalent atoms attached to central atom is cl f f f minus right so three monovalent atoms you have and the charge will be zero and zero for cation and anion because it is a neutral atom you will have 10 by 2 that is 5 if h is 5 the hybridization will be d s p3 right if DSP3 is the hybridization, what will be the predicted geometry of covalent molecule? Trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal bipyramidal. Okay. Then the last example, Xe, F4, xenon, fluoride. Xenon is noble gas. Obviously, its uh, valence electrons number is 8, right? It obeys the octet rule, isn't it? Half into... The valence electrons number is 8 plus the monovalent atoms attached to central atom will be 4 again. Xenon is the central atom here 4 plus sorry minus 0 plus 0. 12 by 2 you will get 6 that is D2 SP3 right. If the H value is 6 the hybridization will be D2 SP3. If hybridization is D2 SP3 the predicted geometry will be octahedral. Right? These are examples for the sp, sp2, sp3, dsp3 and d2sp3 hybridization. So if the cat, if the given uh, covalent molecule is cation, so how can you predict the geometry of that molecule? By using this formula only, here the central atom will be nitrogen. For nitrogen, what is the electronic configuration? 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, right? You have 5 valence electrons. By calculating H for this cation, you will get half into, what is V? 5. Plus, what is M? The number of monovalent atoms attached to central atom. How many monovalent atoms you have here? Nitrogen, you have 4. So, the M will be 4 minus the charge of cation will be 1. How? It is the plus 1. So, charge on anion will be 0, obviously. So, you will get totally 8 by, sorry, 8 by 2. You will get 4. So, hybridization will be sp3. If you have h value 4 and the hybridization will be sp3, then if the hybridization of sp3, you will have the geometry tetrahedral. Right? Next, we will see another cation which will be uh, NO2 plus. If it is NO2 plus, do along with me, you can know it very well. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, again, you have 5. If you calculate H for this, you will have 5 electrons, valence electrons plus how many monovalent atoms attached to central atom? Nitrogen is central atom, but there are no monovalent atoms. Why? Because oxygen is divalent atom. So, here is you will, you will get 0 minus charge on cation will be plus 1 and the charge on anion will be 0. Then you will get, I forgot half here. So, 4 by 2 you will get 2. That is sp hybridization so for NO2 plus you will have sp hybridization then the predicted geometry will be linear isn't it check your table if in the given question it is anion then you can predict the geometry of anion by using this formula as well so central atom is sulfur and the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p4 right atomic number of sulfur is 16 so you will have six valence electrons so, H equal to half into, what are the valence electrons number 6 plus, what are the number of monovalent atoms attached to central atom? 0. Why? Because oxygen is always divalent. So, 0 minus, what is the charge on cation? It is not a cation, it is anion. So, C will be 0. Then, A, it is anion. So, you will have 2. No need to write um, uh, charges here. You can directly substitute the values. So, half into, you will get 8. So, you will get 4 by 2, sorry, you will get 4. So, what is the hybrid, if the value of uh, H equal to 4, what is the hybridization, possible hybridization sp3. If hybridization of sp3, predictor geometry will be tetrahedron, right.
then we'll go to another example which is uh, clo4 minus or no3 minus no3 minus again you have 1s2 2s2 1s2 2s2 2p3 you will have 5 5 valence electrons right 5 valence electrons h equal to half into 5 plus what are the monovalent atoms attached to central atom again 0 right 0 minus it is anion so cation charge will be 0 plus the charge of anion on anion is 1 so you will get 6 by 2 3 so you will get sp2 hybridization if the value of h equal to 3 and hybridization will be sp2 the predicted geometry will be trigonal planar right trigonal planar so these are examples in prediction of geometry and covalent molecules whether it is a neutral molecule or an anion or a cation practice more and more 